Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this is yet another video review. Today I will be looking at the Logitech Optical Mouse. This is the product and it, this is the retail version. Of course you have the the box and the manual and the software that you're going to need to install this mouse. Now in most cases of course you would not be using really any kind of software. Usually if you have Windows 98, um, Windows 2000, Windows XP, you uh, can just plug and play and, and this thing will install quite easily. But if the software, if you need any installation software or drivers, you can certainly uh, use these. Something else it does come with here is a USB to PS2 adapter. Of course, this would just go plugged into here and then this would go plugged into your motherboard. I'll just show you that now. Most current motherboards these days of course come with a USB and PS2 ports for your keyboard and your mouse. I'll just show you the PS2 connector here first. Now the first thing would be to do you could do this first if you wanted to, to plug it into your motherboard or you could plug this up first and then plug it in so it's very easy to do this obviously and there you have it, it's that simple so you can use an optical mouse on a PS2 system without a USB port so that's that's kind of um, important maybe to some people who have uh, older systems that do not have a USB port uh, something which you can do if you don't have a USB port and you want to use uh, and you want to plug it into a USB, you can get a PCI USB card if your system doesn't have it. And of course, if you have either the card or the USB on your motherboard, this is very simple to plug in. And that's pretty much it. Windows will detect it and install uh, it very easily. And quite frankly, if you have Windows, uh, the newest version of Windows, Windows XP, this is just very simple. You plug it in, it's installed uh, instantaneously. Let's have a closer look at this mouse. Of course you can see here that there's a button here, a button here, and there's a button in the center as well as the wheel. And if you look at the profile here, you'll notice that the bottom of this is actually see-through and it's very cool in the evening because it does shine through and all the bottom of this is actually red so it does uh, look very attractive certainly uh, when it's dark this is always glowing no matter when you're using it or not using it when you're using it uh, you'll notice that there is more light and when it's just sitting idle uh, it kind of like dims down uh, a little less light I'll show you that a little bit later. You can go over here and look at the laser on the bottom here. You'll notice it right here. So that is the laser that of course is responsible for tracking your cursor on your screen. And this particular model is the MBD58. Now, the advantages of having an optical mouse are very clear. Most other standard mice, which have the ball on the bottom, of course, tend to get clogged up with dirt, hairs, and all kinds of other things, which, in essence, is not great when you're trying to move the cursor across the screen. Uh, I know myself the differences between an optical mouse and a ball mouse are very significant both for accuracy and for not having to clean it uh, every other day and ball mice of course you know that it does get quite dirty inside as a matter of fact some of the mice that I've seen uh, have been disgusting 
the stuff that you kind of see and get, hairs, bits and pieces of dust, uh, all kinds of crazy things that can tra be trapped uh, within the ball of the, the mice. So a major advantage there, obviously. And most gamers, not all, but most, tend to prefer the optical mouse. Now that has changed a little in the recent months. First when optical mice did come out, a lot of people found it very difficult to get used to. Because one thing with an optical mouse is that if you, for instance, are gaming and you slip off your desk or, or, or just slip a little bit off your mouse pad and you lose, the laser loses contact with the surface so it loses tracking then of course in a game like Quake 3 Unreal Tournament uh, that slip up could cause you to be fragged so at the beginning I believe there was some hesitation for using optical mice for gaming however I find it really quite frankly to be better in accuracy let's face it if you're playing a game, you want to have a nice, large mouse pad to start with. And if you're not using a mouse pad, because you don't need one, you could just use a surface like this. And, of course, you're not going to be tearing your mouse up when you're playing the game. Your mouse is going to be on the desk or on the pad, and you're not going to be, hopefully not going to be slipping off the pad. So that's not a big issue anymore. Uh, the accuracy, certainly, with optical mice, even in games, are, I think, now preferred over the ball. For comparison's sake, I'll show you uh, three mice here. This is a Microsoft mouse, and it's, it's actually the, the old style, the ball version. And this is another Microsoft mouse, which is actually an optical mouse. This is the basic mouse from Microsoft. The two buttons here and the center wheel here. Of course, and the optic on the bottom as well. And you can see the generational differences between these, obviously. Um, this one here, profile-wise, is very large compared to this one, and certainly this one. I have noticed with a lot of Logitech mice, the profile is actually quite different than a, a Microsoft mouse. Microsoft mice seem to seat in the palm of your hand more than Logitech mice. So it really depends on your hand size and what you prefer. I find that the Logitech mice do come out a little further and do touch your hand right here so it gives you it does give you a very good support now I'm not saying that the Microsoft is better but I, I do prefer the Microsoft in many ways um, it's a little bit more expensive obviously and that's a concern sometimes uh, I do prefer the clicking the way it does click over the Logitech it's very simple However, it's a little it's a little different than the Microsoft. And I, I've been I've been really raised, so to speak, on Microsoft mice. So I, I kind of I'm kind of biased that way. I I kind of got used to using the Microsoft mice, and uh, therefore, of course, I prefer uh, the feel of them. Also, something else you'll notice if you can hear that, it's very quiet. Now let's go to the Logitech mouse. So there is a distinct difference there. Now, again, price is always a factor. The Microsoft mouse will probably be $20 more than the Logitech. And not everyone has 20 bucks to throw around, nor do they want to probably throw it around for just a mouse. For all intents and purposes, this is probably the best bang for the buck mouse on the planet right now. It looks cool. It performs really well.